Hello Internet, this is Julie from ProjectJulie.com coming to you not nearly live from my son Evan's bedroom. I thought I'd try out this whole vlogging thing that all the cool kids are doing and see if anyone was interested in listening to me talk about stuff. And I thought, since we're in Evan's room and all, it would be cool to talk a little bit about one of my favorite things that he gets to take advantage of, which is subscription boxes. Since he was maybe six months old, we have subscribed to Citrus Lane, which is an amazing subscription box. Every month he gets a box and it's filled with four to five products, um, toys, books, puzzles, lotions and soaps, plus a little something for mom. It runs $29 a month if you go on a month to month plan, but you can get it for cheaper by doing an annual subscription. Uh, just recently we started subscribing to another box called Kiwi Crate. It's much smaller, but much cheaper. It runs about $19.95 a month, I believe, for the month-to-month -month plan, but you can also opt in to longer subscriptions to bring the cost down. And it has an added bonus of adding on when you have another child in the house for only $9.95 a month, so you can get double the stuff so both kids can play along. The boxes are pretty different. Uh, Citrus Lane has more products in it that you use, and Kiwi Create is more about activities. And so I'm going to show you what's inside of each of these boxes real quick. So I just got today June Citrus Lane box, and we'll open it up. And everything inside is wrapped in this nice yellow paper. Whew. So I'm just going to start pulling things out. Um, on the top of each box, every month, there's a little note, a hello from Citrus Lane, and inside it tells you what each of the products are. So you get a list of all the products, a description of what they are, and oftentimes the manufacturer of each product will include a coupon code so you can get a great discount if you go to their website in the next month or so. So it looks like we've got some puzzles and activities and a little something special for mom. First off, we've got this puzzle from Crocodile Creek. It says it's for three plus, but if you have a kid, you know that those things are notoriously inaccurate because if my kid was still doing, you know, a pretty simple puzzle by the time he was three, um, maybe it's time to think about something else we could be doing because um, it's more for to keep him from chewing on stuff than the actual, you know, mental faculties involved in doing it. Luckily, Evan loves construction vehicles. He's going to love this puzzle for a few months and then he'll get bored with it and we'll lose all the pieces and they will never make it back into this box again. But this is a cool looking puzzle. Um, it looks like the pieces are pretty sturdy. Um, the smallest piece size it says is three inches by three inches. So this could be used by much younger kids if they're under parent supervision because you probably don't want kids gnawing on these puzzles. What else do we have? Ooh, we also have from Bumpkins a Disney Baby wet bag. We love wet bags. Um, when Evan was younger, we cloth diapered. We don't anymore just because he pees a ton and we had tons of leaks. But we love wet bags for his lunch snacks. And so this is a good size bag that we could put a sandwich in and take to the park. And bonus, he loves Mickey Mouse ever since we went to Disneyland last uh, January. So we've got this great wet bag that we can use for his lunch right now. So that's a gift for him and for mom. Uh, we've also got this uh, from Fabric Castell, this great activity book that comes with markers, which we'll have to remind him not to use on the wall. But this book is called Pet Pals, and let's see what's inside. Um, draw your own creepy crawly in the empty jar, coloring in a turtle, uh, it looks like an iguana, playing with a dog. He will love this, and it looks like the pages tear out, so if you want to separate it from the book, that's great. It's got a storage case for the markers and a little handle so we can take it in the car or to the park where he loves to play. So this will be used a lot. Um, like I mentioned before, a lot of the boxes include some sort of lotion or bath time product. And so this month we got from Epicentral, which they um, show up in a lot of Citrus Lane boxes. I would say every two or three months we get something from Epicentral. This month we got bubble bath and shampoo, peaceful bubbles. So that sounds like it probably has um, lavender or calendula or something really soothing. What's great about Epicentral is they're 100% natural, they're uh, certified organic, they're plant-based, so they are really not gonna hurt your kids. And on the back, 
they have all these handy icons that show all the things they that they have like their allergy tested the packaging is 100 percent recyclable um they're made with solar power which is a bonus they're reef safe so if you live near the ocean and for some reason this container gets out in the trash it's not going to harm the animals so there's lots of great reasons to use these and pediatricians recommend it these are great products and we've used a ton of them we also often get snacks in the box, which is great because we discover new products that everyone's really, everyone really likes. And one of our favorite brands is Plum Organics, and they've got a coupon in the box for $1 off. But we also, looks like we've got two samples of these um, Mighty Four Nutrition Bars. So there's blueberry and strawberry which are two of Evan's favorite fruits and these are great to throw in his lunchbox or to throw in his diaper bag that we keep in the car so we always have snacks when we're out uh, shopping or going to the park or whatever it is these will be great to have and if he likes these I guarantee that being able to try them will get me to buy them finally the thing from mom and I it's a postcard um, about this app called Third Love. I've heard of Third Love, but if you haven't, it's about um, getting measured for a bra, trying things on, and um, getting the perfect size so you can get a bra by mail instead of having to go into the store. And you know, sometimes the sizing is inconsistent and it's awkward because you have these skinny women checking out your mom body. So um, this is $20 off a $40 or more purchase, which is great. So you can try out the service and see if it's for you. But oftentimes there's uh, makeup, there's lotions, there's all sorts of things that moms can use. So um, thank you Citrus Lane for including a little something for mom. So that's what's in our Citrus Lane box this month. Like I said, it's more product based and less, um, you know, activities in terms of being creative. So I'm going to set this box aside. Okay. Kiwi Crate is something totally different. Like I said, it's $19.95 a month and the box is smaller, but the box is mighty. So um, I'm going to open it up. And every month is themed. So there's this little bird guide that says, let's go on an adventure. And this month's theme is camping. So in this crate, there are the tools to make your own campfire to roast marshmallows. And then uh, the, the tools to decorate a sunprint backpack. So it looks like we're gonna be getting outside and making a cute little backpack. Now, Kiwi Crate is intended for kids who are three to seven years old. Evan's a little young, but I wanted to start doing more activities with him so it was less about stuff less about less about toys so um if you pull out that little cover on the kiwi crate box there's usually these sort of uh, paper figures that you can cut out and use they talk to each other and every box has a sticker in it so you can collect the stickers for each month and so this is month is the sticker is a little camping birdie so that's really nice we've also got a travel journal so um Evan can record his summer adventures, or mom can, but it's got um, little uh, rebus-based stories in there, drawing activities, uh, learning a secret code, which is really cool, um, backseat bingo, so you can play in the car, and if you see a one-way sign or a tractor, you can mark it off on here, so great activities to have around. This is probably a little old for Evan. This is something that we can hold on to and use in the future, so this is nice to have, even if we can't use it right now. Each month, there's also this little uh, magazine related to the theme, and so uh, it includes bonus activities uh, and things that they can do, letters that people have sent to Kiwi Crate, resources for parents, um, all sorts of fun things. So there's a little scavenger hunt that's the additional activity, um, ideas to get you started about drawing a campsite and thinking about the theme for the month, and that sort of thing. So, uh, versus the adventure journal which is more general this is specifically related to the theme for the month so then we get to the nitty-gritty the materials for the two projects and they have these little booklets that have i'm going to open it one-handed that have the instructions for how to do the activity so you can see the backpack that we're going to make all the materials that we need and then the instructions for how to do it pretty cool so I've got instructions and materials for my sunprint backpack and my glowing campfire, which is going to be made out of cardboard and rocks, not an actual fire, but I'm sure he wouldn't mind eating actual marshmallows at some point, even though the ones in the box are cotton balls. 
Now there is a little extra bonus in here. Um, we used to get this service called Nature Box, which sends you snacks every month that are um, organic and allergy friendly and all sorts of other things. And we decided to cancel it because we can never eat them. But we never finish them every month. But it looks like we got a sample of a fruit medley, which Evan loves fruit. So this will go right into that snack backpack. Plus um, a coupon for uh, a free box from Nature Box. We might have to try it again and a recipe using the fruit medley so we can make our own camping trail mix. So it all ties into that camping theme, which is really cool. And then underneath all of that are, as everything falls off the table, are the supplies for our projects. They do not skimp on the supplies. Every month there's supplies. So paint pins for decorating our backpack and the rocks for our campfire, literally everything we need, clay for our campfire, you know, it's got, it's got all the stuff we need in here. It's great. Here's the, here's the little backpack that's this sun sensitive fabric, which is super cool. And everyone's going to love this because it's a kid size backpack. And then down in the bottom of the box, because they really want you to use everything in here. I mean, the glue stick, like the, the materials in this box will last long after the project. Down in here, you can cut up the box. See, there's a little camping scene. So every month, there's a little scene inside the box related to the theme for the month. And then you use your little characters from the top sheet to put them in the box and make, you know, your diorama. So your kids could color this in, and then this box could sort of sit on their shelf and be a toy that they play with forever. So Kiwi Crate, you get a lot of bang for your buck. We have thought about actually canceling our Citrus Lane subscription because we feel like Evan is aging out of it a little and it's, you know, the toys are, are a little more babyish and there are more toys versus activities and we would really want him to start to learn about experiences rather than stuff. So um, you might get a lot of mileage out of Citrus Lane and we still love Citrus Lane as an idea. Um, we give it as a gift to friends and they love it, and so it's it's really great. But I think Evan is getting ready to move on to something more um, activity based. So that was this month's Citrus Lane box and Kiwi Crate, and I hope that you guys enjoyed seeing what's in those boxes, you know, living vicariously through me and my spendy habits. And hopefully, if you are looking for something like this for your kid, maybe one of these boxes will fit the bill. So I was very chatty and I hope you enjoyed me chatting. I hope I didn't talk too fast. Uh, and we'll see if I can get better at this whole vlogging thing the next time I do it. But until then, farewell from Evan's room.